Hello everyone, I'm back with another quick update for the uh, Cycles plugin for 3ds Max. Today I'm just going to be going over one feature uh, that comes in the latest version, and that is the ability to export shaders from Cycles in Blender to Cycles in Max. Uh, so I'll just get right into how to do that. So the first thing is you will need a special add-on for Blender that comes as part of the plugin installer. So I'll start this up and we'll just go pick the Blender Shader Exporter here. And this will find your Blender directory or you can point it to wherever you want and it will install that plugin. So then we go over to Blender and if you're not uh, familiar with how Blender add-ons work, uh, once you add them you have to activate them. So bring up User Preferences here, go to the Add-ons tab and type Max in here and you should see uh, Import Export for Cycles for Max Shader. So click that and that will let your Blender export shaders. So I have a sample one here set up for this, and this is actually the shader I'm using for the um, the 3ds Max physical material. Whenever you use that in a scene, it is actually using this this cycle shader right here. And what I have it set up to be here is just um, a white diffuse surface with a semi-rough uh, glossy reflection on it, and then on top of that, there's a perfectly um, sharp clear coat reflection that is cyan and a little bit of red light emitting from it. Uh, so most of most of these nodes actually don't matter for this particular setup. I was trying to use a lot of them. Uh, but this is just so you know, this will work with shaders. However, however complex your shader is and big it is, uh, this should work fine. So we'll go export cycles from Max shader. And Blender will think for just a second here while it lets me pull up. I'll actually, oh, I can't even move that right now. All right. It's going to make the preview a little bigger. I'll do that in a second. Do, do, do. All right, so then I'll go to Documents. I'll go to Untitled.Shader. Go Export. So then that saves off the file, and now I can head on over to Max and use it. So what I have here is a very simple scene set up just to show off what the, what the material looks like. Right now I have it just a white, uh, a white diffuse. And that is, that is coming from this, uh, this node right here. So if we look in the, in the graph, you'll see it's just this plain diffuse. So what we can do here is load shader. I'll go to documents and I'll pull up untitled.shader I just made. And then what this will do when I open the node graph editor is you'll see we have all these same nodes from Blender carried over into Max here. And when I render the scene, you'll see, I'll actually go over here and make this nice and big. So you see what it looks like, it has this kind of cyan uh, color all over it, really light mostly, and the red the red glow. And you see over here we have that exact, uh, exact same material. So that's, um, so you can use the, the node editor in Blender. It's a lot nicer than the one I built into Max, and then you can send your shaders over. Uh, and that's just another, uh, another option for you now. So that's, that's really all I have. I encourage you all to check out the new version and try it out. Uh, check out the website, cyclesformax.net. Uh, and that's it. Thanks.